good morning hope you tried this particular uh, problem on your own okay many of you might think that uh, what is there to learn what is there to learn in journal entry but there are a lot of things and always there is a scope for learning something in journal entry because journal entry is the most important topic based on this only other things are going to be there for example we are going to learn in future about departmental accounts about branch accounts okay or it can be even a single entry system or it can be consignment or joint venture or bills of exchange every chapter without the knowledge of journal entry if you are not strong in the fundamental journal entry then it is very difficult for you to understand those chapters many students focus on only important topics for examination point of view see suddenly you cannot become a world champion in bodybuilding by just looking at the bodybuilders many uh, many people look at okay bodybuilders six pack okay let me try in one or two days i will be, let me become a bodybuilder is it possible no same way if you just look at the past exam question oh this is how the examination questions are tested let me try you tried about six or seven problems and go to the exam hall some other question is asked then you don't make it okay so without fundamentals when you learn then you forget clear accounting is one where you learn once and you should remember for lifetime conceptually when you are strong you need not do 100 problems just do 10 15 problems for your practice apart from classroom problems then you will be thorough in any particular chapter but many students do a mistake of taking solving keeping on solving so many problems but if you ask them the concept they are not clear so suppose if some other new adjustment is asked sir this is not discussed in class this is not discussed in study material i have not seen such problem that is tested in the exam why because you are not strong in the journal entry or you are not strong in the debits and credits or capital revenue expenditure or concepts and conventions so capital revenue expenditure concepts and conventions and journal entry knowledge is most important for learning other chapters okay that's why i should teach you why should i take the i mean effort of teaching you the journal entry okay so whether journal entry will be tested in the exam maybe one mark question you may get but why should i teach you journal entry for that one mark we should i uh, spend about 2 to 3 hours of time no this is not don't look at this as a chapter this is a fundamental this is like a basement of a building based on this only the building of accounts is going to be constructed so have a thorough knowledge about it okay you would have done your plus 2 you would have done your degree course okay yeah i accept that you are having some knowledge but there is always something to add upon in a professional course okay shall we go to the problem anu commenced business with a capital of 50000 i hope you will not have trouble in this what is the entry you will pass cash account debtor hope you tried this problem on your own then you are coming to this to anu's capital or you can put capital account how much 50000 In the exam you must write narration being a cap capital brought in by anu this is on 1st january 2014 maybe you can give a narration in the exam next bought goods for cash 7000 on what date 2nd january 2014 bought bought goods for cash what is entry purchases account debtor to cash account how much 7000 purchases account debtor nominal account to cash credit what goes out 7000 deposited in hdfc bank to open a current account on what date 3rd january 2014 okay what is entry bank receives money bank is a personal account so bank account debtor to cash credit what goes out how much is deposited 10000 right bank account debtor to cash 10000 sold goods for cash 2000 and credit to ram so debit what comes in cash account data ram is not paying cash so debit the receiver you can pass a combined entry cash account data 
how much it comes? 2000 RAM account data are debit the receiver 6000 you can pass separate entry also to sales credit all incomes and gains to sales account 6000 cash account data RAM account data to sales account 6000 this is on 4th January cash account debit because debit what comes in RAM account data because debit the receiver he has not paid cash he has not paid cash to sales account 6000 next bought goods for our cash once you pay cash kk account is irrelevant and uh, credit from big b so purchases is an expense so debit all expenses and losses purchases account data what is the total purchases made 10,000 took cash account took cash account how much is paid in cash 4,000 to big B account credit the giver to big B account 6,000 simple debit all expenses and losses so purchase account was debited to cash account credit what goes out then to big B account for the credit purchases. You can pass two separate entries also for this. You will give narration being goods purchased for cash and for credit like that. You can give a short uh, uh, brief or uh, short brief, uh, I mean, uh, detail about the transaction that is called as what narration. Sixth one bought furniture for cash. Oh, here there is a mistake I made while typing. This is bought purchase furniture for cash for 20,000 from Namrat on credit. Please make a change in the material. Bought furniture for 20,000 from Namrat on credit. We are not purchasing goods, we are purchasing furniture. So when you purchase goods, it is a revenue expenditure. We debit to purchases account. When you purchase furniture, it is a capital expenditure. It's a fixed asset for you, long term benefit. If you are a furniture dealer, then you will debit to purchases account. To Namrat account. It's credit purchases, credit the giver. Okay. Why are we debiting furniture here? This is not specified that he is purchasing and selling furniture. Okay. So furniture when you purchase, it's a fixed asset. Capital expenditure, we learnt, right? It's a long term benefit. So debit furniture account debt or to which account? Namrat account. Then returned goods purchased for cash and from Big B. See when you purchase goods, when you return it back, if it is a cash purchase you will get back cash. If it is a cash purchase you will get back cash. If it is a credit purchase it will be adjusted in the ledger account. It will be adjusted in the amount due. So how to pass entry? When you return goods purchased for cash, cash will come in. Cash account data 200. Okay. Big B will adjust the account with how much? 500. So 7th January 2014. Cash account data because when you return the goods which are purchased for cash, cash will come in. Then Big B account data, debit the receiver. The supplier will get back the goods. So, big B account data how much? 400. This is called as to purchase returns. Credit what goes out. Clear cash account data or big B account data to purchase returns account. Right? So whatever is purchased for cash, we will get back cash. Whatever is purchased from big B, if it is returned, it will adjust the ledger account. While giving the goods, we are, we credited, when we gave the goods, we credited his account, okay. When we are returning the goods, debit the receiver. Accommodation bill, I asked you to eliminate because it's a lengthy chapter where we will be learning in bills of exchange chapter separately, okay. Even discounting the bill, etc., and all, please eliminate. Please eliminate. No, nothing is required. 
because discounting of bills, endorsement of bill, we will have a separate concept. First, you should understand what is bills of exchange. So, we will deal in a separate chapter. Then, sold goods costing 4000 at rupees 5000 to bargain on sale on approval basis. We are selling the goods to bargain on sale on approval basis. What do you mean by sale on approval basis? Goods are given to the customer. Okay. If the customer approves, it becomes a sales. For example, you could have seen certain water purifier people or vacuum cleaner people will come to your home and will tell that, sir, use this vacuum cleaner for about 5 days. If you are satisfied, then pay cash. Accept the goods, then pay cash. Otherwise, you can return it. This is called a sale on approval basis. I will give the goods to you. Okay, I will give you time for approval. Within the time, you can either approve it or you can reject it. But however, when the goods are given to the customer, we will take it as a normal sales and record it. On a subsequent date when he returns it, we will take it like a sales returns. Okay, so we are giving it for 5000. So what is the date? 10th January. To whom the goods are given? Bargo. Bargo account data are debit the receiver 5000. We will record it as sales. If it is returned, we will cancel the sales. To sales account to 5000. Okay, this is goods sold on approval basis. Introduced further capital 10,000. Same entry will come. Same entry will come. Cash account data to, don't put additional capital. Cash account data to, Anus capital, 10,000. Debit what comes in, credit the giver. Cash account data to, Anus capital. Withdrew from HDFC bank. We are taking money from bank. We are taking from HDFC bank. Is it, what is the entry you will pass? Drawings of account data are, don't think like that. Is it given that the cash is withdrawn for personal use? No. We withdraw cash from bank for business use also. So it is nowhere said that the money is used for personal purpose. Cash account data are, debit what comes in. Cash account data are, how much comes in? 3000. To bank account, credit the giver. Cash account data to bank account 3000. Cash account data to bank account 3000. Then goods returned by Ram and others 100. Look at sold goods for cash and credit to Ram. Same way like purchases. If sales returns happen, if sales returns happen, if the goods are purchased on credit, we will adjust the account. If it is purchased for cash, we have to return the cash. Goods are coming back. Sales returns account data are sales returns account data are totally how much? 300 plus 100, totally 400. To which account? To RAM account how much? 100. To RAM account 300, okay. RAM account 300 others 100 to cash others means who purchased for cash 100 so debit what comes in okay to ram account to cash account Ram is giving it back, Ram account, credit, okay, to cash. Purchased old car for office use and spent 2000 for reconditioning. So when you are purchasing car for office use, is it a capital expenditure or revenue expenditure? It is a capital expenditure. So whatever is spent before the asset is put into use is a capital expenditure, 3000 plus 2000 both are capital expenditure 
फिफ्टींथ जनवरी टू थाउजेंड फोर्टीन फिफ्टींथ जनवरी टू थाउजेंड फोर्टीन कार अकाउंट यू कैन पुट और मोटर कार अकाउंट यू कैन पुट कार अकाउंट डेट आर फाइव थाउजेंड इज इट पेड बाई कैश आर चेक नथिंग इज गिवन सो वी असीम दैट इट इज स्पेंट इन कैश कार अकाउंट डेट आर टू कैश फाइव थाउजेंड देन पेड सैलरी टू फोर एम्प्लॉज बाई चेक Will you debit employee's name? Debit the receiver? No. We are not paying as a loan. We are paying for the services rendered by them. It is salary. So salary account debt or debit all expenses and losses to bank because it is paid by check. So bank will give the money. Bank will give the money. So to bank account. salary account debt or to bank account salary account debt or to bank account four employees into 750 totally how much 300 four employees into 250 300 rupees totally this is for salary paid next settle the big b account at a discount of 5% who's big b he sold the goods on credit to us look at from big b we purchased for 6000 from big b we purchased for 6000 and in that we returned 500 so how much is payable now we purchased for 6000 and we returned 500 so we have to pay 5500 rupees but we are not paying 5500 rupees fully you understand Six, for 6000 rupees we purchased we returned 500 rupees worth of goods we have to pay how much 5500 or you could check here okay 6400 okay sorry 6400 is returned so we have to pay 5600 we have to pay 5600 but we are not paying full amount oh it is fine only sorry again here is the mistake i have done big b account to 500 this is 700 okay so 5500 we have to pay but we are not paying full we are paying at a discount of 5% we are paying at a discount of 5% we call this as cash discount when that is settled 17th january 17th debit the receiver big b account debtor you should get 5500 but he is not getting full money to discount received account discount received is an income for us this will be this into how much percentage 5% 275 is the discount received balance amount we are paying how we are paying cash we are paying cash Rs. 5500 minus 275 we are paying how much 5225 once again we purchased for 6000 we returned goods worth 500 so balance 5500 is payable now which we are settling at a discount of how much percentage 5% balance 95% is paid so debit the receiver credit all incomes and gains credit what goes out next 18th january electric charges paid out of bank account electric charges account debtor to which account 
to bank account. Electric charges account data to bank account. How much is paid? Three forty-five. Three forty-five is paid. Electric charges are paid. What is the next one? Nineteenth January. Ram settled this account at a discount of six percent. We are getting cash. Cash account debtor. Discount allowed account debtor to Ram account. Can you fill up the amount? Pause the video. Try to fill up the amount. From Ram, we purchased goods for five thousand. In that, we returned three hundred worth of goods. Balance four thousand seven hundred is payable. Can check the journal entry also. Four thousand. In that, Ram returned three hundred. Yeah, four thousand. Ram returned three hundred, so three thousand seven hundred is collectible. So three thousand seven hundred years to pay. In that he is taking a discount of six percent. Balance is collected. So cash account debtor, discount allowed account debtor to Ram account three thousand seven hundred. Cash account debtor debit what comes in? Discount allowed account debt are six percent to Ram account. He has to pay net three thousand seven hundred. Next, paid fire insurance premium. Or fire insurance premium or fire insurance account debt or debit all expenses and losses. How much is paid? What is the fire insurance premium paid? Seven fifty. To cash account. It is not mentioned that out of check. We assume that it is paid out of cash. To cash account to seven fifty. Debit all expenses and losses. Credit what goes out. Next, accommodation bill. I asked you to eliminate. HTFC charged forty rupees for charges services. It's an expense. So it's a bank charge. It's an expense. Bank charges of con data are. Bank charges of con data are forty. The bank will adjust in your account. You are not going to pay it in cash. It will be automatically get adjusted in your bank balance. HDFC Bank allowed interest on the balance twenty five. They are giving interest, which means it's an income for us. It will also get added to your bank account. Bank account debt or to interest account? How much? Twenty five. Bank account debt or to interest account? Twenty five. Next, Gopi failed to honor six subsidies. All these things we will see. Endorsement of a bill, dishonor of a bill, discounting of a bill. All these things we will learn in a separate chapter called bills of exchange. Okay. Paid nineteen five hundred in full settlement to Namrat. Paid nineteen five hundred in full settlement to Namrat. Who's Namrat? Who sold furniture to us? We bought furniture for twenty thousand, and there is a discount of five hundred, nineteen five hundred. Many students would have made a mistake here. Many students would have made a mistake here. I'll explain. What is the mistake? So debit the receiver. 
नम्रत अकाउंट डेटार नम्रत अकाउंट डेटार ट्वेंटी थाउजेंड टू कैश आर बैंक अकाउंट क्रेडिट वार्ड गोस आउट हाउ मच नाइनटीन थाउजेंड फाइव हंड्रेड टू वॉट यू रिटर्न डिस्काउंट रिसीव्ड अकाउंट हाउ मच फाइव हंड्रेड यू हैव डन इज इट करेक्ट whether you will put discount received account no please remember furniture is a capital expenditure furniture is a capital expenditure okay you spent 20000 in that you got a discount of 500 now what is the cost of furniture 19500 is the cost of furniture the real cost of furniture is only 19500 so this discount receipt will not be taken to discount receipt account that is only for the goods okay for capital cost when you get any price adjustment for capital cost if you get any price adjustment that will be adjusted with the cost of the asset to furniture account okay it's a fixed asset if there is any price difference in settlement that will be adjusted with cost of the fixed asset otherwise what is the real cost of fixed asset is it 20000 no You didn't pay twenty thousand. You remember cost concept? Okay, asset should be recorded. A transaction should be recorded at cost price. Will you record furniture at twenty thousand? No. You did not pay twenty thousand. You paid only nineteen five hundred. So that five hundred rupees is adjusted with what furniture cost? Okay. So the discount receipt discount is allowed is only for the goods bought and sold in the ordinary course of business. Repairs to car and petrol expenses. You can put repairs and maintenance account data, or repairs and maintenance car account data like that. You can combine it. How much is paid total? One zero five zero to cash. Okay. Next. Look at Bargov approved eighty percent of sales. See for Bargov, we sold goods for five thousand. He approved eighty percent, and he rejected twenty percent. Approved eighty percent, rejected a much twenty percent. Now for what journal entry will be passed? See for full five thousand, already we recorded journal entry. Bargov account data to sales. How much you recorded? Five thousand already we recorded in journal entry. Bargov account data to sales. So when the goods are approved, will you pass again a journal entry for sales? No. When the goods are approved, since it is already passed, no entry is required for approval. No entry is required. Only for the rejection you have to pass the entry. Only for the rejection you have to pass the journal entry. What is the entry you will pass? What is the date? Twenty eighth January. Bargov account data. Oh, sorry, sales returns. Sorry, sales returns account data to Bargov account. Out of five thousand, eighty percent is returned. Balance. Sorry, eighty percent is approved. Balance twenty percent. Thousand. Then next, twenty ninth January, twenty ninth January, Bargov settled this account at ninety eight percent. See, we sold to Bargov for five thousand. In that, he returned for thousand. Balance he has to pay four thousand. So, cash account data, discount allowed account data. Cash account data, discount allowed account data to Bargov account.
Bhargav has to pay 4000. He pays 98%. This into 98% he pays. Balancing for will be discount. Or 2% will be discount. Right? Good. So, hope you verified this particular problem. I will once again go for a, I mean, a passing 2-2 two, two minutes or 3-3 three, three minutes like that. So, take up this part. If you have not copied it while explaining, I request you to pass and take it up. Till 5th January, pass and take it up if you have not copied it. Six to fourteen. Fourteen to seventeen. Pass and copy if you have not done it. Eighteen to twenty third. Twenty fifth to twenty ninth. Okay. If you have not tried the question number two, if you have not tried the question number two, I request you to pause the video because any number of time you can pass. The time running during the past time is not counted in the viewing. You can num any number of times you can go out and come in. Okay, you can take a break and go out and come in. You can stop playing the video, go out and come on, come in. The time and all is not counted for that uh, 2 or 2.5 or whatever, clear. So only the effective playing time is counted. You can just pause the video or you can just go to the video, try to work out the next question in journal entry. Okay, if there is a doubt, if there is a doubt, for example, third journal entry, I'm having a doubt, sir. What to do? Leave a space. Anyhow, I'm going to discuss it. Okay, you can come back to it. Hope you tried it. For example, if there is a doubt in uh, entry number C or entry number D, you can leave a space and go to the next one. Like two or three lines of space, you can leave it and go to the next one. Done. We will see. Started business with cash 15,000, goods 8,000, office equipment 7,000, private car 12,000, which will be used for business purpose, which will be used for business purpose done bought furniture 4000 1000 for office use balance for stock purchased three motor cars 15000 from sv associates for stock then from sherry for stock one motor car for private use which means uh, it's a personal expense returned motor car worth from stock and 8000 from stock this is also from stock both are from stock only this is also from stock Sold office equipments 4000, cost is 7000, book value 5000, sold household furniture 2000, paid into bank account, paid landlord 1200 rupees rent, half of the premises is used for Murli's residence. It is used for Murli's residence, okay, we will see. Then sold some office equipments, sold some office equipments for 1300, 700 is received by check, balance in cash, the check was paid into private bank account. Hope you tried it. Started business with cash 15,000. Debit what comes in? Whatever comes in, you debit. Cash account, debit. How much? 15,000. Then what is the next one? Goods. Stock account debt or goods account debt Better to use stock account data or inventory account data 8000. Stock account data 8000. Office equipment account data 7000. Hope you tried on your own and you are coming to this particular solution. Office equipment account data 7000. Don't put private car. Car account data. It is going to be used in business. It's a fixed asset. Debit what comes in. Car account data. How much? Car account data 12,000. 
car account debt are 12,000. So 15,000, 8,000, 7,000, 12,000. To which account? To which account? Capital account. Nothing but total of whatever is debited. So whatever you are bringing into the business is your capital. Okay, business entity concept. Whatever proprietor contributes to the business becomes what? Capital. This is for A. Then for B, bought furniture worth 4000 out of this 1000 is for office use. When you are purchasing it for office use, it's like a fixed asset. Debit what comes in. Furniture account debt or balances will be like purchases of goods. Purchases account debt are Purchases account debt are 3000. Purchases account debt are 3000. 2. It is purchased from whom? It is purchased from whom? Nothing is specified. Cash account 4000. No cash or credit purchases mentioned, so we can assume that it is cash purchases. Furniture account debt are for office use. Purchases account debt are whatever is purchased for sale stock okay then to cash account look at the next transaction purchase three motor cars for 15,000 from SV associates for stock purchases account debt are to SV associates debit what comes in credit the giver three motor cars 15,000 each so 40 5,000, 45,000, then purchased two motor cars from Sharif, we assume that it is credit purchases, Sixteen thousand. Purchase account data to Sheriff account 16,000. Returned motor cars. Returned motor cars. So, what is the entry will pass? There is a typing error. Both are purchased for stock only. SV Associates account data. Sheriff account data. Debit the receiver. We are returning it back. 15,000. The other one also make a correction. It is also from stock only to purchase returns. So whatever is brought in is capital. Cash, stock, office equipment to Murli's capital. Furniture account debt are for the furniture purchase for office use. Purchases account debt are for the other goods purchased to cash. Then for purchase of stock from SV Associates, purchase account it out to SV Associates. From Sheriff, purchases account it out to Sheriff. Then SV Associates account it out, Sheriff account it out to purchase returns. I assume that they are credit purchases. They are credit purchases. Next. Sold office equipments for 4,000, book values 5,000. Cost does not matter for us. Book values after depreciation. Today's current book value is 5,000. We sell it for 4,000. So when you sell it, cash will come in. Cash account data, are how much for how much we are selling? 4,000. But what is the book value of the furniture? Office equipments. To office equipments account 5000. The balancing for is 5000. Loss on furniture account debt are. This will be later on transferred to PNL account. Clear? 
the loss on sale of furniture we are selling value of furniture worth 5000 for 4000 the loss on sale will be transferred to p and l account sold household furniture next one you just go through sold household furniture and paid into business bank account so whenever you are bringing your personal money into business it is called as what capital business bank account bank account data are to which account to capital account 2000 you can put Murali's capital account also bank account data to Murali's capital account 2000 Next, paid landlord rupees 1200 for rent. Half of the premises is used for Murli's own residence. Half of the premises is used for Murli's own residence, which means out of 1200, 600 is only business expense. The remaining 600 becomes your drawings. Rent account data, you should debit only 600, don't put 1200. If you put 1200, that is an error. Drawings account data, debit the receiver, drawings account data, whatever is spent for personal purpose, it will be debited to drawings account. When we prepare balance sheet, we will reduce it from capital. See, whenever you are contributing money into the business, we will keep adding to capital account. Whenever you are taking business money for personal use, it will be deducted from capital account. Okay, that is what is known as which one? Drawings. We learnt business entity concept, treat owner and business as separate entity. So when our proprietor pays into something, into the business, that is his capital. Likewise, whenever some money is used for business purpose, okay, from business, when the money is used for private purpose, it becomes what? Drawings. So drawings will be reduced from the capital account. To cash account, to cash account, 1200. So rent is an expense, drawings is a personal account that will get adjusted in the capital account. Some numbering errors are there, just eliminate it. You put the proper numbers. Next. Sold office equipments for 1300. 700 is received by check balance in cash. The check was paid into private bank account. One more drawings. The check was not taken into business bank account. It was taken to private bank account. Drawings account data are for the check portion because it is not coming to our business bank. It goes to personal bank account. 700. Cash account data are balance 600 is received in cash only. To office equipments account. So, this is uh, the journal entry for second problem. Okay. Compared to the first problem, it is not lengthy and uh, kind of easy problem only. Okay, go to the third problem next. Okay, if you have not tried it, must to try. So, these are like small, small tests that you are taking in the classroom itself. And the students are asking, sir, how online test will be conducted? This is how. Clear. You practice, that is the test. Clear. Then I will give the solution. Or then you correct your answer. Where you make a mistake, correct your answer. Okay, so in professional courses, more kind of self-correction is required than someone correcting you. In schools and colleges, someone will be correcting you. But in professional course, 
only the main examination is corrected by external examiners. Majority of the test process, majority of the assignment process depends on what you practice. Okay, if keep you keep seeing the video and copying whatever I type or whatever I write, that is not the way of learning. You must, you must practice, you must practice because in the exam all I will not be there. Okay, so tests are part of the classroom process. I request you to pass, stop. Okay, then try the next question. If you need it, you take it, you take it, take a break. See, in a recorded class or in a class that is recorded, I go without a break. If it is one hour, if it is one hour, in classes we will take two hours because I will just give this uh, problem for solving, go for a tea or coffee, okay, have a break, chat with the students and come back, then, st then start doing. But in online classes that is not happening, I just keep on running, you need not, okay. So you can, for example, you feel tired after this problem, just pause the video, just go for a walk, come back, try the third question, then continue the video. So for watching one hour video, it will take about two hours time. Okay, so this I have told you many times in the introduction video or in the future videos you will be listening to this. Okay, so uh, try the next question. Started business with cash 25,000, goods 20,000, mission 30,000, private investments 10% government securities. Okay, furniture worth 20,000, 10,000 is for interior decoration, balance is for resale. Purchased four sewing machine worth from Aswin for resale. Okay. We are given so many things, right? Hope you tried. Started business with cash. Cash account data are how much? 25,000 goods stock account debt are stock account debt are 20000 machinery account debt are 30000 investments account debt are investments account debt are values 10000 face value is not relevant face value is relevant only for Calculating income. Face value is relevant only for calculating income. 2. Capital account. Remo and co capital account. Or Remo's capital. So, debit what comes in, credit the giver. Bought furniture out of that 10,000 is for interior decoration. Whatever is used for interior decoration, we will debit furniture account debt or 10,000. Okay, balances for resale means purchases account debt or. to cash. Okay, debit what comes in credit the giver, furniture account data or whatever is used for interior decoration, purchases account data or the furniture purchased for resale to cash account. Next, purchased is four sewing machine from Ashwin. Purchases account debt or to Ashwin account. We assume that it is a credit purchase, 40,000. Purchases account debt or to Ashwin account, 40,000. Purchased one welding machine. Purchased one welding machine from Sona. So that will be missionary account debt or missionary account debt or 20,000. To Sona account. Again, we assume that it is a credit purchase. You can assume this as a credit cash purchase also, nothing wrong in it. When they don't give you detailed information, is it for cash or credit? You can assume, you can assume. Okay, in some textbooks they tell you 
if nothing is given assume that as cash you can do that or since names are used you can assume that as what credit purchase also next <coughs> purchased one motor car for private use when you purchase when you take business money for your personal use it will be drawings account debtor to cash drawings account debtor to cash sold one welding machine for 13000 sold the welding machine look at next one sold the welding machine oh sorry to sold two welding machine swing machines for 12000 each at a trade discount of 10% of mrp so what is mrp assume that 12000 into 2 assume that 12000 into 2 24000 is mrp less discount 10% this is called a trade discount so what is the net selling price so 21600 is a net selling price okay trade discount is a discount that is given at the time of purchase and sale of goods it is given at the time of purchase and the sale of goods my question is are we going to record this are we going to record this how are we going to record this cash account data first don't copy or don't correct i am making a mistake some of you would have done this mistake cash account data discount account data like that you would have passed please remember it is not a cash discount okay understand once again understand trade discount is one which is given at the time of purchase and sale of goods for example you go to a shop mrp printed or then the label you find a printing printed amount of 10000 they tell you 40% off 40% off now what is the price at which you are buying 10000 minus 40% what is the price at which you are buying 6000 okay now for the seller whether the sale value is 6000 rupees or 10000 rupees 10000 is only a label price or it's printed in the label but he is really selling it for how much 6000 only so when he pass a sales entry he will pass it only for 6000 rupees he will pass it only for 6000 rupees okay because that is actual sales here also the printed price is 24000 but we are giving a discount of 2400 so what is actual selling price 21400 so this discount given at the time of buying and selling it may be based on quantity or the based on business situation whatever is the discount given at the time of buying and selling the goods we call it as which one trade discount that will not be recorded in books that will not be recorded in books the net sales will be recorded 21600 suppose let's assume instead of cash i am selling this goods for credit okay let us assume you are a i am b i am selling to a i will pass entry a account data to sales 21600 because the sale value is not 24000 i am going to collect from me only 21600 okay within 10 days you paid money within 10 days you paid money then i am giving a further discount of 5% i am giving a further discount of 5% that is called as cash discount clear so the discount given at the time of buying and selling we call it as which discount trade discount that will not be recorded in books only the net selling price will be recorded okay if there is a further discount given at the time of settling the money later okay for prompt payment for paying money on time if there is a further discount given that is called as which discount cash discount that will be recorded suppose instead of cash sales if it is a credit sales i will put entry like a account data to sales suppose if i collect money further some 600 rupees less then i will put cash account debtor 21000 discount account debtor 6000 to a account like that i will pass an entry okay 
So trade discounts are not recorded, only which discount is recorded? Cash discount will be recorded. What is a trade discount? Discount given at the time of buying and selling the goods. What is a cash discount? Discount given to the debtors for the prompt payment. I sell the goods on credit. I allow you 20 days credit. Okay. You paid within 20 days or you paid early. At the time, I will give you further discount. That is called as what? Cash discount. That will be recorded in books. In the previous problem and all, we were recording which discount? The tram problem, bargo problem. We were recording which discount? Cash discount. While paying the price or receiving the price, when we get our allowed discount, that will be recorded. Next. Sold welding machine 13,000. Depreciation up to the rate of sale is 2,000. Cash account debtor. Cash account debtor. How much? 13,000. Cash account debtor. 13,000. Depreciation account debtor. Up to the rate of sale, you have to provide depreciation. 2,000. What is the welding machine value? Look at for how much we purchased welding machine. Where is it? This twenty thousand to machinery. So the balancing for will become loss on sale account. Loss on sale of mission account data are how much the balance 5000 right so cash account data or depreciation account data or loss on sale is the balancing figure to missionary account then sold household furniture and paid into business bank account Whenever you are bringing money from your personal thing to bank, that is a capital for you. It's your personal money you are bringing to bank. Bank account data are 2000 to Remo's capital. To Remo's capital account 2000. Then Purchased goods 45,000 on credit from Neha. Purchases account data are how much? 45,000 to Neha account. Look at the next one. Out of the goods purchased 5,000 was used for advertisement. 5,000 is used for advertisement. 3,000 taken for personal use. 1,000 for given to employee Diwali bonus and give to Neha 600. Wife rendering part time service in the business. So when the goods are taken, when the goods are taken out, okay, debit the purpose, okay, debit the expenses. Advertisement account data are how much for advertisement how much we used 5000 then private use drawings account data are for private use 1000 whenever you are taking the goods for personal use let it be cash or goods any money from business when you take it for personal use from business when you take it for personal use that becomes your drawings. Drawings account data are 1000. Then bonus account data are bonus account data are, or you can put employee benefit expenses account data are, six hundred thousand. Uh, Personal use three thousand thousand for bonus give to Neha give to Hina okay give to Hina his wife his wife is rendering part time services. So what to do? The 600 is given as a gift to his wife. 
but wife is working in the business or for part time services she is rendering in office what to do should you take it as personal purpose or shall we take it as part of salary it is yeah employer can give a gift to employee okay what to do assumption we assume that since wife is rendering part time services it is given as salary or in the form of salary or part of salary like that so we can debit salary account debt or salary account debt or what is assumption we are assuming that since the business i mean uh, wife is helping or doing some part time services in the business okay this is paid in the nature ordinary course of business okay it is paid in the ordinary nature like along with other employees he is also paid some salary so it can be taken as part of salary to what we debited all the expenses advertisement account debt or debit expenses drawings account debt or debit the the receiver because money is taken for personal use bonus account debt or debit the expenses salary that gift to hina we take it as what salary 600 to to what check whether these money whether these amounts are spent in cash no we are using goods for all these purposes we are using goods we are not giving in cash to which account then to purchases account so whenever goods are purchased we debit which account purchases account so look at here whenever goods are purchased we debit which one purchases account so whenever the goods are taken for use credit the purchases it's like credit what goes out so debit the expenses debit drawings etc to purchases account okay so simple this 9600 will be deducted from purchases later on we will see when we will preparing final accounts when goods are used for other purposes like giving a sample or giving for advertisement or given to employees etc get taken for personal use from total purchases we will deduct all these things balance only we will charge in trading account balance only we will charge it in which account trading account the advertisement expenses will be charged in pnl account bonus salary will be charged in pnl account drawings will be adjusted in capital account drawings will be adjusted in capital account next collected 6 months interest on investments collected 6 months interest on investments cash account debt or to interest on investments cash account debt or to interest on investments account look at the first uh, thing 12000 is a face value 10% government securities into 6 by 12 interest or dividend is collected or paid on the face value of shares on the face value of shares so 12000 into 10% into 6 by 12 you can see the first adjustment adjustment number a face value is 12000 into 10% for 6 months we collected investment that is income from investment then depreciation on asset debit the expenses depreciation account debt or to which account to machinery account depreciation account debt or to machinery account 5000 debit all expenses and losses credit the asset credit the asset so we had seen some of the journal entries okay one problem was included in the material a lengthy problem was included in the material with solution okay then we have done around three problems so i hope you are got you are getting some base you are getting some base so what i am requesting is please don't stop here do you take your base material given by the institute uh, let it be icai or icmai whatever be the base material given please take that material from the base material i request you to see the illustration problems you need not solve them it's a basic chapter i request you to see the material problems which are given okay uh, hope you are uh, good in journal entry still uh, complete journal entry is not over okay 
we will see in various chapters. We are going to learn bills of exchange. There again we will learn depreciation, uh, sorry, journal entry. Depreciation chapter we will learn journal entry. Rectification of errors we will be learning further journal entries. Okay, depreciation accounting. Yeah, there is a journal entry involved. Okay, so then and there, there are some journal entries involved. Okay, so we will learn it. I do not want to dump everything in one place. So, I will go for those uh, concepts in a separate thing. Okay. Wishing you the best. Have a great day. Keep learning.